everybody. Time for another episode of Anoki County Eats. And I'm told if you're looking for Mexican in Anoka area, Casa Rio is the place you gotta go. So that's where we're at today. Let's check it out. Hey, Mandy, Joe Carmack. Hi, Joe, nice to meet you. You too, thanks for having me over. Thanks for coming in today. Let me show you how. All right, okay. I love it. Mandy, thank you so much for having us out. Really excited. Uh, I've actually only eaten at Casa Rio once. Uh, but we actually catered a PTO event for Mississippi, which I'm on the board for, and the teachers absolutely loved it, raved about your Aces food, so I'm really excited to be here today. Great, well, we are glad to have you. Casa Rio has actually been open for about 10 years, mm -hmm. so uh, we've been just gradually, you know, things get better and better every year, and a couple years ago, we rolled out a food truck. Tell us more about the food truck. I mean, that had to have helped probably getting through COVID times. It really did. The food truck really took off, and yeah. Um, yeah so okay, so what are really some of the, the bigger public events that we can do? I know you do a bunch of corporate, but do where can they find your truck this summer? Yep, we, uh, so every Wednesday, we are gonna be out at the city of St. Francis. They have a little yeah. bottle shop right off of Highway 47 there, so we're parked there all day. Good. Uh, every Tuesday, Tuesday we're going to be out at the Anoka County Sheriff's Office and then we are at multiple different breweries. We are at Ridgewood Bay um, every Friday night. Uh, we are out every Friday afternoon at the uh, Food Truck Festival in Brooklyn Park. Yeah. Um, and then s Saturdays there's a lot, of, a lot of private events, so weddings, graduations and all that stuff. But Awesome. Okay, well yeah. let's talk about food. Um, tell me more about what's on your menu, kind of things that people like the most. One of the biggest sellers has got to be our fajitas. Mm. So we can get like a fajita for two combo. You got your steak, your chicken, your shrimp. Mm -hmm. um, of course, all the fixings are uh, yeah. homemade sweet corn cake. Sure. Can't forget about that. Oh, yeah. Everybody loves that. My wife always makes me get fajitas when we go out. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's good. Be, you well, have to try that one. Perfect. Yeah. Right. You'll definitely have to try that. Yeah. Um, and we have an amazing uh, homemade flour fried shell for the tacos. Yes. So they are, uh, we take soft shell, we deep fry it up. That gets really airy and crispy and okay. uh, everybody loves them. I always try to force everybody to try <laughs> one if they don't want to. Well, so, I see and then that when I'm going do, to be forced today and I'm very excited. Yes. <laughs> yes. And then if they say, oh, I'll stick to a soft, I'm like, I'm just gonna give you a, a free one and just try it. And they do in there, they love it. Well, let's try it. I am Perfect. ready to try some Sounds great. great. <laughs> Mandy, this looks fantastic. Thank you so much. I'm excited to try it. Let's, uh, we better dig into this baby first. Sounds what is good. this one? This is the uh, traditional beef burrito. Okay. So this is just filled with our uh, beef and our, or your choice of meat and sure. our cheese. Okay. So you've got that. And then you have got our, and there is also our uh, uh, beans and our rice and then our homemade sweet corn cake. Sure. Which you gotta have that, best looks, dessert ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm yes. excited about this. Perfect. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Good, mm -hmm. good, yes. It's fantastic. I mean, and honestly, there's so much meat in there compared to most, you know, it's usually like diluted with cheese. I mean, you just stuff it full of. All right, what do we have next here? All right, next is a homemade flour fried beef taco. Okay. Yes. This is a heck so of a taco. It, Tell me about this shell. What do you do to that? So that shell is a soft shell and we deep fry it here in the store. So we take a soft shell and we put it in the deep fryer mm -hmm. and it makes it very light and crispy. Mm -hmm. Homemade flour fried. Every, everybody loves them who tries them. Yeah. So. Almost like a chalupa, um, but way better. a little bit of crispy. Yep. Way better. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yes. So good. So those are, those are our specialties. And then we have the same thing over here chicken. Mm -hmm. You want to try okay. that one as oh, well? Yeah. Yep. So our chicken is, uh, we make all of our chicken obviously homemade on site and we uh, cook it all up and then sure. we shred it all up and then we put it in our homemade red sure. sauce. And what do you season the chicken with when you cook it? Can't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's got various different seasonings in there. <laughs> yep. And then we make our homemade red sauce. That Secret seasoning recipe. I like Secret that. Secret seasoning, yes. All right. If, if I told you, we'd have to mm -hmm. 86 this interview. So. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mandy, this was yeah. fantastic. Seriously, thank you for having us over. This was a real treat for us. Absolutely. Thank you so much for having us. I am really yeah. glad you contacted us and we got to be a part of this. Absolutely. And I'm looking forward to an ongoing relationship. Yeah, yes, definitely. Absolutely. Definitely. Well, we'll definitely have to go find you guys on Facebook, track where the food truck is going. Uh, just search for Casa Rio on Facebook, I guess. Huh? Absolutely. Looking forward to it. Love it. Thank you. And uh, one more thing I did just want to say is just give a huge shout out to the city of Anoka because without 
them uh, getting together as soon as they found out that we were going to be closed as a restaurant. They got all the bar owners in Anoka together, had a meeting like that day and said, what can we do for you? And they came up with closing down the street, giving us picnic tables, giving us uh, fire pits throughout this whole thing. They have really been there for all of us to support us. And without the city of Anoka and their generosity, we may not have made it through. So I just wanted to say a big thank you to them as well. Well, that's a wrap on another episode of Anoka County Eats. If you haven't already, make sure you go join the Facebook group. Just search for Anoka County Eats. My name is Joe Carmack. I'm a local realtor in the Twin Cities and I'd love to help you with your next move. So if you want, just shoot me a direct message and we'll be in touch very soon. Thanks so much. Talk to you soon.